Franklin, Indiana. Almost on the scene. Reference a suspicious vehicle. A man in a red Jeep Cherokee squeals past officers and flies onto city streets. Police quickly learn the 4x4 is stolen. On top of that, the suspect has several felony warrants spanning across three states. Desperate to stay out of jail, he runs at full throttle. Police immediately make preparations to shut the outlaw down. The felon zips by waiting cruisers. He ignores traffic lights. Bullies other motorists. And drives at death-defying speeds. Why? Because he knows where he's going if he's caught. And police are determined to send him there. Officers lay out spikes. They puncture the tires, making the car difficult to control. And then some. Bit. By bit. The stolen Jeep disintegrates along the road. Incredibly, the man keeps on driving. Officers from other precincts join in the chase. Working together, they arrange to stop the suspect once and for all with a second set of spikes. This time, the spikes completely disable the vehicle. He's smoking pretty good. Having nowhere and no way to drive, the man prepares to run. But he didn't count on the lead cruiser to be a canine unit. Now, surrounded and worn out, the man gives up. To get away from police. This guy was willing to run to the ends of the earth. But his car wasn't. He's smoking pretty good. He tried to push it to the limit. But when he pushed it too far, his car and his future fell to pieces.